Yo, what is going on, everybody? I am your host, Slackers Gaming, bringing you our, 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 yeah, that's a word, our next matchup in the Fighter Pass tournament. So if you are stumbling across this for the first time and you're wondering what this is, just a few rules. Uh, it's a tournament of 32 characters that have no representation in Smash Ultimate, so basically they have a chance to be DLC, and each day on the channel I will upload one matchup, except for Sundays, but I will upload one matchup, and then down in the comments we vote for whoever we would rather see between the two for a DLC character, and we go until there's a winner, because it's a tournament, you know, kind of crown a champion, so to speak. Um... But, uh, yeah, that's how this kind of works. So, yeah, you would type the name of either character, or if you really want both the characters that are in the matchup for the day, you can vote for both. So you either vote for, you know, character A, character B, or you could vote for both. It is an option. But it's a double elimination tournament, meaning character has to lose twice. So you lose, you drop to the loser bracket, you lose from there, you're done. Uh, voting stays open for just one week. Just keeps the tournament rolling. So um, with that being said and that out of the way, we get to go over the results from the previous week, which was... Uh, Doom Guy taking on Phoenix Wright. So, um, Doom Guy, very, you know, M rated kind of game. Um, you know, there's a lot of people in the community that are kind of like, you know what, M rated stuff kind of doesn't quite fit in Smash Bros. And I, I, I'm kind of in that boat as well. I mean, I'm, I'm for to toning down the character to somewhat make them fit. I mean, I, th they've done a good job with Snake and Bayonetta, but they still got that sort of, I don't know if they quite fit kind of feel to them, but that's just, you know, my opinion on that. Uh, you might be different. So, uh, and then Phoenix Wright, you know, um, Capcom, big, kind of a big name, but Phoenix Wright gets thrown around. Let me just stop wasting time. Let me just go to the results. Um, where's the results? Oh, let me, if I scroll up, I will find them. Here we go. Phoenix Wright ends up winning the matchup, 34 votes to just 15, so congrats to Phoenix Wright. Moves on to the next round, and we'll end up facing the winner of Sora and Scorpion. We'll find out the result for that tomorrow. And um, then that means uh, Doom Guy just falls to the loser bracket, because that was his first loss. So Doom Guy will end up facing Spyro, and I think that comes up next Monday. So we'll get to that matchup when it gets here. But today's matchup, Steve from Minecraft takes on Raiden from Mortal Kombat, so let's jump into the matchup, shall we? So first up, I think, is Raiden. So Mortal Kombat 11 comes out in April. Going to be a huge release. Uh, MK10, which came out in 2015, was that was it four years ago? Four or five, three, four, five years ago. I'm pretty sure it's like four or five years ago. Whenever it came out, was the highest and fastest selling Mortal Kombat game in franchise history. And MK11 seems to be on that exact same path. Could surpass, you know, the the sales pace that MK10 had. So, I mean, chances are, if you are a, if you play video games, you. Whether you've played Mortal Kombat or not, if you play games, there's a very, very highly good, likely chance that you've heard of Mortal Kombat, right? The, the franchise has been around since, what, the early 90s? Or is it the late 80s? I think it was the early 90s. But it's on, what, the Super Nintendo and, you know, classic, you know, it, it's a fighting game. So, move set is already made for the character, which is great. And it's, Raiden, in this case, is one of the longest, you know continue repetitive sort of characters so everybody knows the name of the character might not be the most i don't know how do i want to say might not be the most famous or i mean he, he, everybody's gonna know raiden if you know mortal kombat chances are you're gonna know raiden but he might not be the fan favorite character such as maybe a scorpion or sub-zero might be but or maybe a Johnny Cage, something like that. But chances are you're going to know Raiden. So he's already got popularity behind him. He's already got moveset potential. Easy to come up with. Again, the problem is he's an, you know, the M-rated character. You know, Mortal Kombat's known for, you know, very gruesome and violent. You know, such, uh, such a fighting game. It's... I always have a problem with that. As much as I love Mortal Kombat, I'm going to pick up MK11 when it comes out. Um, I just... I love the franchise, but I always have that problem, and this is this is again my opinion. You guys can feel, you know, however you want to, but it's always I don't quite know. I just, I just don't quite think that M-rated characters are. I mean, like I was saying a bit earlier, you can tone them down to kind of make them fit and feel a bit more smashy, but it's they still might just kind of like seem like all right, it's it doesn't quite work. But I mean, Mortal Kombat as a franchise, they have to be, you know, at the I still think they'd be at the top 
towards the top of the list for potential, you know, series to get a rep in Smash Bros. Just because of the iconic, legendary stature in itself. Plus, it'd be awesome if we got anybody from Mortal Kombat. I say this a lot, but we could have Mortal Kombat against Street Fighter. Uh, in this case, it could be Raiden against Ryu, Raiden against Ken. Come on. That'd be pretty dope to see. That would be epic, you know. Somewhat of a, you know, mini... It's not even a mini, but it's just like another fighting game crossover within a crossover game. That would be nuts. That would be absolutely awesome just to do that from, you know, just a gaming perspective. Gaming fan, you know, that that's, that's cool right there. That is That would be worth the purchase for me. Uh, so, that's my opinion. But again, M-rated characters are a bit very iffy on me. It, no matter how much I like the character, very iffy. But um, let me go to Raiden's opponent here. Steve from Minecraft. Yes, very... I, can I say controversial, I suppose? It's either, yeah, we like Steve, or no, get that... Get him away from Smash. We don't want... And I hear this a lot. Get the fan base away. You know, we don't want those nine-year-old kids. Technically, you could kind of say that about, like, any franchise. You know, keep that toxic. I mean, every game franchise, they have their toxic portions. Let's face it. Smash does. Minecraft does. Fortnite does. Every, everything is has some sort of toxic toxicity in their fan base or just annoying little kids you know whatever it is but let me talk about steve as a character actually i want to bring up one point real quick so i think steve's chances might have this sounds way i think his chances might have even increased within the past week because microsoft announced that they're bringing xbox live to the nintendo switch as well as android and ios but i'm not talking about those two focus specifically on the nintendo uh, Switch. So, the announcement came out a few days ago. Well, why would that increase Steve's chances? We already know um, the, that Nintendo's already picked the five DLC fighters for the Fighter Pass. How does that increase Steve's chances? Well, you got this announcement just didn't come out of nowhere. You know, they didn't just go, Oh, right, yeah, by the way, we're bringing Xbox Live to the Nintendo Switch. No, they've had discussions with Nintendo about doing this and, you know, and helping and just integrating all that stuff. So, this has been in the works for a while. And maybe, you know, those talks could have predated when Nintendo picked D uh, DLC characters. So maybe that, you know, Microsoft's like, hey, Nintendo, we want Xbox Live. You know, we want to put that on the Switch. And then my Nintendo's like, yo, we really love that. We'd love to work with you. How about, you know, we also throw in somebody for, a, a, you know, a Microsoft rep into Smash Bros. Steve's at the top of the list, of, along with Banjo, Master Chief, Conker, potentially. Um, Gears of War would not work at all. I'm a big Gears of War fan, but that <laughs> that would not work in Smash. But um, so yeah, Steve. Uh, move set wise, um, again, I've never played Minecraft, but what, you got swords. I think you got like a pickaxe. You got like a bow and arrow. Um, is there torches? Uh, pff, creepers. What is that? Th I guess creeper would be more of like a an assist trophy sort of thing. But I, I you got stuff. I don't know. Maybe you could incorporate somehow the, the the i don't know how to i can't come up with a moveset right off the top of my head but uh, one thing i do want to touch on is his animation steve's animation absolutely for me would be like just wonky just doesn't look right in smash you know he's got the blocky movement he's like moving like a robot but you could also say on the other hand all right his animation looks really bizarre in smash bros but it's kind of his own unique touch, you know, that's what he's bringing from his game. So you can take it as, you know, a negative, but you can also take it as a positive, you know. More uniqueness to a character, I think, the better. Uh, and plus, Minecraft, we all know, is a huge franchise. Been around for a long time, has sold, what, 100 million copies? Or it's sold something ridiculous, I don't have the numbers on me. But it's, you know, extremely widely worldwide popular, you know, people know the series, people, chances are, I mean... I even knew who Steve was, and like I said, I've never played Minecraft, but I've always seen the, the face, and I always knew the name somehow. I don't know how I knew the name, but I just did. I guess fr I had friends that played it, so. Um, yeah, I guess for this matchup, I'm just going to vote as much as I love Mortal Kombat. Um, I think this is the first time I'm going to vote for Steve, so yeah, I'm voting Steve in this one. But as much as I love Mortal Kombat, I always have that issue with, I don't think, I don't think Mortal Kombat gels very well with the smashy sort of feel again you could kind of tone down the character a bit but then they might not feel like themselves and then then the whole thing is just kind of off so 
nothing you know nothing against Mortal Kombat or anything M rated. It's just kind of all right. You guys can stay over there because you don't quite. I don't know. It just to me, it doesn't quite fit. But if it happens, I, I, I'm fine with it. If it does, ha if we get a Mortal Kombat rep, I'm happy. But like I said, my vote is going to be for Steve. So yeah, it's the first time I'm voting for Steve. So um, yeah, I guess that is going to be it for this one. Um, we're going to go over what sneak peek for tomorrow's episode real quick. Looks like we yeah, I already said we'll get the results for Sora taking on Scorpion, another Mortal Kombat rep. But that's the results, and then tomorrow's matchup is. <laughs> Sub, <coughs> excuse me, Sub Zero and Tracer, Mortal Kombat everywhere. Uh, matchup today, results tomorrow. Matchup tomorrow. Wow, all three Mortal Kombat. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, but that is gonna be it for this one. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed. And remember, one vote per person. Just type your name, the name of whoever you want, down in the comments. And then, yeah, we'll see what happens with that. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed, and hopefully, we catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.